We have new champions in MLS, Jules. Woo! How about the Columbus crew beating LAFC in the final? And when you celebrate Wilfried Nancy, even though he has a woman's last name and he's not <laughs> Paris born and bred? Yes, of course I will. One, because there are not that many French managers outside of France. Uh, and even Christophe less... Christophe Gaultier is outside yeah, France. Even less we'll doing well. stay outside France Probably, for a while. Yeah, for a while. Uh, or go inside even at some point. <laughs> uh, but amazing, Wilfried Nancy. If you don't know him, he was an assistant coach. Well, he finished his career, like not a very good career, as a player in MLS. Then he became an assistant coach to Remy Gard in Montreal and to Thierry Henry. Former Arsenal legend, Remy Former Arsenal and, and Thierry as well. Then got that job, did well with a young team, took them into the playoff, and then got a, big, a much bigger job, of course, at Columbus Crew. And not just took them to the title, because they are, for me, the team that plays the best football in MLS this season. And that's credit to him. It was a great final, a great performance again. I love his philosophy. I love the kind of all attack, but with a structure, mindset. And, and it's really, really good. And he's also the first black coach, black manager to win the MLS Cup. So Should really, really good. in Europe be paying attention? I presume the guy uh, speaks have English, to. considering... Yeah, the, very good English and obviously French. So I really hope Montreal, people yeah. notice, especially in Ligue 1 as well. Because, you know, you, you can trust a Will Steele, uh, Francesco Farioli, that's great. You've got, in a way, a very good, young, promising French guy with, with great ideas. You know, why not trusting him too? I, I'm just happy for the Columbus crew. I'm happy for, for Ali Moreno, of, of course. Of course, yeah. And Two I'm titles happy. in the last four years now. Yeah, and I'm also happy because, obviously, you know, those who follow MLS will know what happened with, like, the original... Uh, team moving to Austin, that guy with a stupid name, yeah. Free Court, whatever his name is, um, <laughs> you know, taking the team away from them and stuff. And it's just a really, really bad look for, for MLS, what happened there. And I'm glad they got the team back and they can do something to celebrate. Yeah.